hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class right uh, we'll be treating the kinetic theory of theory of matter and gas laws we have looked at boy's law we have looked at charles law and today we are going to look at okay, this is chemistry and then i'm going to look at guliman or gulima <laughs> gulame and montos law Sorry, let me simplify it for you. It's called the pressure law. All right, this one was uh, uh, stated by by uh, Guillaume Amontons. Right, he was a French physicist who was very popular for string instruments and what and temperature. Right, he was very very popular in those fields. All right, so Guillaume Amontons stated this law, and it's simple. Right, like we discussed earlier in Boyce law, we said in Boyce law. Boyce law, we said the temperature was kept constant. Temperature constant in Boyce law. All right. Then in Charles law, if you remember from the last episode, Charles law we kept what the pressure constant. But in pressure law, in pressure law we keep the volume constant. We keep the volume constant so in pressure law we keep the volume constant why the relationship between pressure and temperature is considered right so we consider the relationship between pressure and temperature and keep the volume constant in pressure law it's simple as abc so what the pressure law say so pressure law states that pressure law states that the pressure the pressure P of a fixed volume of gas is directly proportional is directly proportional to its temperature. So it's no more than this. It's as simple as ABC, right? That the pressure of a fixed Volume of gas is directly proportional to its what to its temperature, right? When the volume, of course, is what is kept constant, it's as simple as ABC. So mathematically, now it means our pressure is directly proportional to what to temperature. So if we introduce a constant, introducing a constant now, right? K P will be equal to what K T. So usually, what do we do? We look for K, right? So K now because of p over t right this means that for a fixed volume of gas p over t is always constant right so because we have done uh, used a table to explain charles law and boyce law right it means that it's very easy to understand what this means right now let's quickly of course uh expand this and this means that what that p1 over what t1 is equal to p2 over what t2 so for calculation purposes know that what this is very useful this is very useful and this is even much more useful all right so now i'm going to take a question and take a question to what to drive this point home and then this class will be done to be very very short please do not forget that this video tutorial is brought to you by the o3 schools jump app it is the best cbt practice app available out there all you need to pass your exam is on the app that's all the past question there's a UTM challenge that's conducted every weekend, right? In that UTM challenge, you are competing with other students writing jam to win prizes, one, and then to see your score weekly. So you take your four subject combination, you take a test, participate in the challenge, you see your score, you see your score according to subjects. So you can be able to know which subject you are not doing well, right? So that you can focus more your energy more on that what on that subject, right? So you, you can treat what your weak point basically. From that or challenge. So you do not have any reason not to have it on your phone. If you have other apps on your phone, delete them now. Download O3 Schools Jam app immediately. Right? Activation is just 2500 naira. Right? So that is just easy peasy. Now I'm going to take an example from the O3 Schools Jam app. Of course, there are so many other questions on the app, so you can what take advantage of them. All right, now let's take an example to drive this point home, and then we are done with this class. All right. Oh, now let's go. I want to make this part very fast, right? So that you just see the question on the board. All 
all right welcome back so now we have this question before us uh based on pressure law right you say at 33 degrees Celsius, a given quantity of gas was found to exert a pressure of 480 millimeter mercury so for the question you have seen pressure and what i seen temperature your head should just run quickly to pressure law not chance no boys all right so you know the formula on your head p1 over t1 equal to p2 over t2 then put your serene serene you are good to go so now what pressure will it exert at 66 degrees Celsius? right then two at what temperature will its pressure reach exactly 200 millimeter mercury so let's let's head, let's head to it now so solution now all right so of course i'm giving t1 temperature one you know you cannot solve with degree celsius you solve with kelvin so 33 degree celsius then of course if you add at 3 plus 273 of course that will give us uh 300 and what six 306 kelvin all right then t uh we're given a given quantity of gas was found to exert a pressure p1 was given to be what 480 millimeter mercury what else was given they say what pressure will it exert at 66 degrees Celsius? So we're giving T2. T2 is what 66 plus what? 273. That will give us 300 and what? 39 Kelvin. All right. So we're looking for what now? Uh, P2. P2 is not given. All right. So we're looking for P2. So since I'm looking for P2 from Charles Law, of course, from Charles Charles law p1 over what t1 is equal to what p2 over t2 i'm looking for p2 that means that p2 therefore p2 is equal to what now p1 equal to p1 times what t2 over what now i'm looking for p2 over what over t1 so just plug in your formulas and you're good to go what is p1 p1 is 480 what is t2 t2 was given as 339 all over what is t1 t1 is 306 all right so you quickly what pressing your calculator and of course if you do that you're going to have 531.76 millimeter mercury all right so of course it's as simple as a b c now that is the first part of the question the second part say at what temperature will it pressure reach exactly 200 millimeter mercury so of course we are still sticking with our t1 t1 is 306 kelvin right they say we're looking for what uh, t2 t2 is what is unknown right we know p1 p1 is what 480 millimeter mercury then p2 now is what 200 millimeter mercury so now we're looking for what t2 for our formula what is t2 now t2 what p2 that is t2 now because of p2 times t1 P2 times T1 over what? Over P1. So if we do that, what is P2? 200 times what is T? T1 is 306. And what is P1? 480 millimeter mercury. And if you press your calculator, this will give you 127.5 Kelvin. All right, so you can see that what? We use the formulas to what? To solve the question very easily because we have understood the laws. So you must understand the laws. Alright, please do not forget to like this video. Liking the video will make other students easily find this video. Do not forget to subscribe. Click on the red subscribe button below the video so that once we release a new video, bam, on your phone, you get a notification that we have released a new video. Subscription is free. So please do subscribe and do not forget to share to your friends and loved ones and your classmates also. And if you continue to do this, of course, you will see us in the next class. Thanks for watching. My name remains MC Blog.